What up, gamers? Sony Showcase 2023 has just wrapped up, and boy, do we have some things to talk about. Now, before I go into the games and give you my thoughts, I want to go ahead and just say that the Sony Showcase 2023 was if i had to describe it in one or two words it was good slash decent and we'll go ahead and talk about all those things and why i think that um after i give you my impression of the game so let's go ahead and start with the games first and you know see what kind of things they had to uh really reveal to us here today um, so the first one that I want to talk about was fair game. Um, you know what? It looked pretty good. Um, it was the first game. Um, it definitely was, um, an acquired studio by PlayStation last March. And so it didn't really show a lot of gameplay, um, but you know, it did seem like a, basically like a multiplayer. And I think this was a good start because to Sony, excuse me, Sony just needs a lot of these multiplayer games. A lot of people were arguing that, you know what, where's the multiplayers? Where's the first person shooters? So to start out, there you go. There you have it. And you know what? It does look interesting. Um, I'll give it a try when it does come out. And so there's that. That's called Fair Games. Now, the next game that was literally taken out of a movie, I feel like they took <laughs> the script and everything from this movie. It's called Starship, uh, Starship Troopers. It came back out in 1997. You should definitely check it out. It's a sci-fi action game, excuse me, film. Um, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, and Hell Divers was literally, like, literally taken from Starship Troopers and made into a game. And I'm actually kind of excited for this game. Um, it is a triple A title. Um... You know, it's a, definitely a top-down shooter game. Um, it's coming to PlayStation 5 and PC. And so I definitely am interested in this one. You basically kill all these bugs in these different planets that you travel to. And you collect the resources. And it looks like it has that same style humor from Starship Troopers. Like I said, check out that movie if you haven't. Uh, it is a hilarious movie. Um, it, Like I said, it, it there's <laughs> there's this type of comedy in it uh, when dealing with these bugs in that movie that just makes the movie that much more entertaining. Uh, but that's Helldivers 2. I am interested in that. So let's move on to the next title. Immortals of Avium. I think that's what it's called. This one looks interesting. Um, it's coming to all platforms, it seems, on July 20th. Uh, you know, it's another, it seems like another multiplayer, sort of. That's what I got from it. I don't know. It does look cool. Like, it has a lot of unique weapons. Um, so, definitely those sci-fi vibes is what I'm getting and I'm looking forward to that. I, I'm not going to say that it doesn't uh, appeal to me. Definitely don't want to say that I'm like, you know, loving it. So, yeah, it, it looks pretty good. And I'm excited. I'm kind of excited to look into that. Um, so let's go on to the next title. All right. The next one is Phantom Blade Zero. Uh, yeah, swords based combat. Um, it looks like so Phantom Blade Zero 
looks like a combination of uh, Sekido, Shadows Die Twice, and a little bit of Ghost of Tsushima elements in there. I'm kind of excited for that. Um, the graphics look good. The gameplay looks fast paced. A uh, lot of looks like seems like you got to learn a lot of skills there in order to maneuver this character. My mind wasn't like into it all the way, but it looks pretty cool. I, I definitely look forward to playing that. Let's go on to the next title. All right. So the next one is Sword of the Sea. Now, this one did kind of interest me. Um, it looks really good. I like the style that they're taking the approach with this. Basically, if you like Journey, but with a skateboard or like a floating surfboard, then I think you're going to enjoy this title. Um, it's, it looks pretty cool. I, I play it. Um, looks fast paced. Uh, looks like some, you know, some talent there. Some, some, uh, some artist development that looks really cool. Don't know what else there is really to say on that. But, yeah, kind of looking forward to Sword of the Sea. Like, not bad. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the Talos Principle 2, that was another one they, they announced. I, yeah. Gosh, I don't know what to say. Um, it seems really unique. Seems like it's doing something there with this robot. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say to that. There's a huge gun on there. <laughs> and uh looks cool though. Uh this was one of my least interesting titles for me. But what are your thoughts? Do you guys like this title or not? I don't know. Leave me your comments, let me know. Let's go on to the next one. Now this one kind of really brought me some sadness. I mean, there's some bright colors in there and it's actually kind of nice looking. Um uh, it's called Neva or Neva and it looks interesting um like I said it's a beautiful looking game but then you get into this fight where these dark shadows come and uh, are attacking this wolf with antlers and um so sad <laughs> you know the, the the big wolf dies and just sets this mood of like revenge and I need to avenge my friend so interesting um i think i might play this and i don't know it it just gives me these vibes like cool like it's got this different art uh design to it and it could work it definitely could work so i'm looking forward to playing this on my premium account i'm not sure that i would go out of my way to purchase this one but I'm hoping that it's available on PS Premium. So there's that. Yeah. So there's there's Neva. I'm gonna, just going to say Neva. Okay. So next is Foam Stars um, by Square Enix. Ah, man. Um, okay. This seems like another, like I said, just another huge MMO foam party shooter. Uh, yeah. This was uh, okay. I actually am not too interested in this one from my end. Just kind of looks cool. And I guess we'll wait for more information. Um, just really wasn't into this title. Um, I have to be honest. All right. Next is the Plucky Squire. You know, little cutesy uh, storybook game. Um, looks kind of cool. In the you know with the art form that they have, um, I would be willing to give it a try. Kind of like a Zelda kind of looking thing, and then you, it's got some cool elements to it. I will say that it's kind of cool. Am I truly excited about it? I mean, I'm okay with it as as long as it's fun, and the gameplay's there, um, uh, and the replay replay value is there. I think this might become a pretty cool little title to have. Nothing AAA in my opinion, but the Plucky Squire seems kind of cool. All right, some people were raving about Teardown. It looks like it's all about breaking stuff and kind of like 
like a heist type of thing. Like you go in, you you try to get whatever you need to get, and hopefully you get out before, I guess the bad dudes or the good dudes come. It looks kind of cool. How do I say that? Like Minecraft type of deal, pixel art type thing. It's cool. Like I'll give it a try. Um, some people are saying that it's really. Uh, I think it was out before, like uh, for Steam or PC or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm willing to give it a try. This one I'm willing to give it a try. It just looks really cool. The shadows, the you know, seems like there's some ray tracing there, uh, some other cool elements. So we'll see, we'll see. Definitely, let's go on to the next one. Definitely one of the titles that was taking people by the storm now is Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. This is definitely going to be one of those titles to look for. It uh, looks like it's a remaster. You're going to get all three titles, 1, 2, and 3. Really, really cool. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, looking to see how they'll remaster it. Didn't show any gameplay, just a trailer, teaser trailer, which is all good for me. But yeah, looks like it's only coming to PlayStation 5 and uh, looks really, really good. I'm excited for this one. Okay, so the next one is Towers of Akshaba. Uh, please don't ask me to repeat that again. It's a, like a restoration type of game. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to think about this one. I'm kind of like, uh, okay, cool. Like, it looks like it could be a cool title. Nothing AAA, though. Um, just kind of cool, right? I'll say that. So, nothing more to say unless you guys have anything to say about it in the comments below. It, yeah, I mean, the other, other thing is that, you know, looks really cool. Like, the world like, looks like an avatar or like some sort of, like, I don't know, you know. I don't know if it's inspired by any other game, but hey, there you go. It looks kind of cool. Okay, so uh, this one was anticipated. Final Fantasy 16. It looks cool. Uh, love the monsters. Love the the visuals on this. Uh, the gameplay looks awesome. We've already been shown some footage about it. So this one was just a, another reveal trailer. And it, it looks highly favorable i mean i think this was another highlight of the show so what do you guys think uh are you gonna get this title i'm definitely gonna get final fantasy 16 and to be honest with you guys i was never really a final fantasy uh like let's say all in type of a fan i played final fantasy 3 final fantasy 2 that was way back in the day uh, but just kind of went on to other titles and I didn't see really the interest in it. So, yeah, uh, there's that. So that's an anticipated title coming out soon. Hopefully uh, we all get to see it uh, and play it. All right. So another title that I was really interested in was Alan Wake 2. Uh, the trailer was impressive. Like I said, I don't know much about the title. Uh, looks like it's coming out in October of this year. So, yeah, it looks really good. Um, can't wait. I really thought this was Silent Hill, for, you know, at first. But, you know, we already know that that did not make its way out to the showcase today. So, but there it is. Alan Wake 2. Okay, I'll be short with this one because Assassin's Creed Mirage... Uh, man, I gotta be honest with you. I was never really a big fan of the Assassin's Creed. Uh, I know. Some people are probably gonna be like, well, you suck. <laughs> but it is what it is, guys. Are you interested in this title, though? Um, is, are there a lot of Assassin's Creed uh, fans out there? Tell me what you are thinking this title will do better. I've heard some things in the past about Assassin's Creed that were good and bad. So... Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, it's more of the same for me about Assassin's Creed. Nothing spectacular. So, yeah, I'm just going to move on from this one. Okay, so Revenant Hill looks like a really interesting title. I really didn't know 
or don't know what to really make of it. It's a little cat. It's running through pastures, and it's cute, and it's, you know, yeah. I mean, it's just that, really. It looks cool. It's got this artistic style that I would play the game for. It's a hit or a miss with these. Like, the visuals seem to be really cool. But if the gameplay is not interesting at all to me, I'm just not going to play it. So, there's that. Yeah, Revenant Hill, right? All right, this was another title by Capcom, Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, like I said, man, they seem to be coming out with a lot of games that are focused on multiplayer. It seems to me... Like, this game would definitely be around there. Like, multiplayer. I could be wrong. Um, it still has me guessing a little bit. But I, I like the vibes. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Nothing that really wows me about it. But it's definitely an interesting title that I, I would look into it. But that's it. I mean, Dragon's Dogma 2. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. All right, here's where we start going into like the VR two uh, games a little bit. Uh, Resident Evil Four, you know, for the VR two, definitely impressive. Uh, wouldn't expect anything different from from a game like this. No release date. Don't know when it's going to come out. Uh, definitely cool. I mean, a lot of people love. Uh, Resident Evil 4 so yeah like I expect this to be a, an anticipated title but nothing 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 that wows us nothing that was like oh my gosh like look this is new this is nothing like that so there you go Resident Evil 4 what are your comments what are your thoughts all right so Bungie showed off their new IP and it's called Marathon yeah, I don't know. It's a colorful shooter. It looks like another multiplayer. According to sources out there, they're saying that this uh, game originally came out in 1994 on Mac. Not sure. Can't really tell you if it did or not. But it, it looks kind of cool. It does grab my attention a little bit. This could be fun. This could be a fun title. I see a lot of potential for that. Hopefully it is. I'm definitely going to keep my eye on this. It's not going to be like hugely, hugely excited to wait for. But definitely it's got my interest. What are your thoughts? Do you have any other things you want to add to this? Let me know. Let me know. All right. Concord. Uh, yeah. Not really going to say anything on this. The trailer looks kind of cool. Don't know what to expect. I'm not really sure what's going on here. It's like a ship transporting something somewhere else. Concord seems okay for the most part, according to the trailer. I don't know. Let's see what happens. What are your thoughts? So Gran Turismo is a movie now. But I was expecting this to be like something else. But I think it's cool. I think it's cool if they made it into a movie. Uh, coming out in August. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Seems like an interesting movie. Are you going to check it out? All right, let's talk about accessories here. So you've got this handheld device, and it's called Project Q. It's got a DualSense controller with an 8-inch screen in the middle. I, I like this one. Um, I also like the head buds. Uh, they look pretty pretty nice. I wasn't expecting these hardware accessories to come out. But there you go. We have them. They look kind of cool. Uh, no word on PlayStation Slim or Pro or anything like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, that's another thing that, that I thought would be good to have is like a PS5 Slim. But, you know... I don't know. To me, it makes sense, and I'll tell you why. It makes sense that they didn't come out uh, with more reveals. But uh, we'll get into that in just a minute. 
Okay, so now we're down to the last one. Uh, Spider-Man 2, the another cool trailer reveal. Uh, looks solid. Uh, I think it looks really, really good. So, yeah, I... Okay, so I'm excited about Spider-Man 2. It looks solid. Um, here's one thing I'll say about the visuals. It doesn't seem to be... Like, you, it just doesn't seem to be, like, something beyond what we saw in terms of visuals from the Spider-Man Miles Morales and the remaster of Spider-Man for PS5. Uh, don't get me wrong. It looks good. Uh, don't get me wrong. It does. But I think there is a bit of polishing uh, that needs to happen to this title. Uh, before it actually releases, I could be wrong. Maybe I need to put on another pair of glasses and people are going to call me crazy. But uh, like I said, it w it wasn't bad looking at all. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying like for it to be a exclusive PS5 title, I was kind of expecting, you know, dazzle me a little bit definitely intrigued by the gameplay i like i said i think it looks good um uh, there's definitely uh if you compare it to the other spider-man looks great looks great with miles morales and you know uh, i just I, I just expect it to be dazzled a little bit more get you know give me a little bit uh it, it just seems like it needs a little more polish I don't know. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is, if it's the shadows or the textures. Um, but it, it does look good. Uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, but there, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll polish it a little bit more um, before they release it. So, yeah. So that's it. I mean, that's, that's it. That was a showcase. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about what were my thoughts... And what was I saying in the beginning that we would talk about? Look, the showcase was good. It was decent. But it wasn't what we were expecting from, let's say, the perspective of AAA titles. Uh, we did get some good AAA titles, a couple of them, that I am looking forward to. But I think we were all left with, you know, with wanting more. So that's why this showcase was decent. It was good. It just, but it just wasn't great. It didn't wow us. Uh, let me just make a couple points. Like, for instance, Spider Man 2. I don't think that we were all wowed by the Spider Man 2 presentation. Not to say that it wasn't good, uh, because it was. It was actually really good. But I don't know about everyone else. Coming from my point of view, it still looked like a cross-gen title. Um, you know, I, I, I could understand that, you know, Spider-Man Remastered and then Spider-Man Miles Morales... Uh, were titles that were cross-gen. And, and it, you know, a, a little bit of the uh, lack of, you know, polish uh, was was present there because these games were cross-gen. It's understandable. But with the PS5, uh, knowing that Spider-Man 2 isn't exclusive, I was kind of expecting uh, a little bump in the visuals. And I hope that before the release of Spider-Man 2, that they are able to maybe, um, I don't know, polish a couple of these things off before the release. So uh, that is one of those points. I think it was good. It just wasn't great. If I had to give like a grade on the showcase in my opinion it's like a c plus b minus at max uh i'd probably keep it c plus you know at average so that's my take 
like I said, it left me wanting more. This is Microsoft's chance to, you know, come with a hook. Uh, and I'm going to make my last point here. This is what happens when companies like Sony release great titles in their last phase, okay? And Microsoft doesn't release any great titles because they, they failed. Let's, I mean, it is what it is. Redfall failed. Uh, Halo Infinite failed. Two big titles. And Sony did very well, if I had to make a comparison, let's say with Horizon Forbidden West, hit it out of the park. God of War Ragnarok, hit it out of the park. So Sony is resting easy. And that's my point. Because Microsoft has had a difficult time showing uh, their fans the type of games that they really want, Sony has kind of, you know, I feel like Sony's a little bit relaxed. Sony's a little bit relaxed, and this showcase kind of reflected that. You know, we're going to bring out a couple AAA titles. We're going to introduce some new IPs. We're going to show you a banger, which is Spider-Man 2. Yet, Spider-Man 2 kind of left us wanting a little bit more. That's just my opinion, guys. Like I said, it's my take on the show and maybe a little bit beyond of what's happening. And, you know, Microsoft now has a chance to hit them with a hook, hit, hit Sony with a hook, show some great bangers. And the reason I want that to happen is because when they do start coming back with good, good games, then Sony is going to be like, all right, you know what? We can't be too relaxed. Let's up the ante here. Let's get to the next level. And that's what I want to see. I feel like this showcase, you know, in retrospect, was a little laxed and easygoing to the point that it made the show just decent. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, what do you think? Leave your comments below if you have any. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like this uh, video so that it helps the algorithm, helps my channel a lot. I do appreciate you guys staying till the whole thing. And I have really nothing else to say. I hope that Summerfest is different. Maybe they'll show some more, you know, content that'll wow us. But that's really it. It was just decent. Anyway, I'm out of here. You guys have yourself a great night. See you on the next one.